But here we are on the Sunday, and you can see more of this USA Southwest type scenery as I swing all the way around here. Oh, what's that? A guy covered in black? Have a look. What's that there? Two people covered in black? And you can probably hear the screams from my uh, right hand side. Oh, oh. And that's because I guess some kid there is objecting to being covered in, in mud. We are at a lake. It's uh don't ask me the name. You see more yurts over there. Uh, but this is a salty lake. Uh, a little bit like the, the Dead Sea. And um, you know the theory of that, that it, it's very dense because the amount of, of salt, so that keeps you up. Um, in fact, if anything, it's difficult to actually go down. It keeps you well up on the surface. Um, but here, added, added feature to this is that this bit here, as you can see, has got lots of mud. And there's Lisa here, and our, um, our guest house host. And the idea is that you kind of get covered in mud, and if you have somebody with you, then of course you can get your back done. Whereas the guy to my left, I guess he's by himself, but his back is, uh, is clear. Although that woman behind Lisa's trying her best to cover her back. Anyway, so what you do, you kind of, you know, get yourself covered in, in, in mud. Except for that poor child there is objecting somewhat. Anyway, and, and then you, you just lie down somewhere. And uh, quite a few people seem to go up there on the, on the, on the sand dunes there. It's supposed to be good for the skin and all this nonsense. I mean, uh, all, all this stuff. Anyway, and, and then I guess you go back in. There are showers up there, or you can just go back in and, and, and clean it all off whenever you feel like it.